Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela Effects. Thanks for joining. Welcome all Mandela Effecting today. So I wanted to talk for a brief moment here about the uh, Atari connection with Infogrames. Not Infogames as it used to be, it's Infogrames. And not to mention, I, you know, when we did this video we talked about that the R was broken. Okay, we're seeing the R being broken in virtually every logo today. Um, Info Grames, as it turns out, and Teresa found this one. Uh, say hi, Teresa. Hey, everyone. Good um, yeah, so Info Grames was an entertainment computer game company founded in June 1983 in France. And when you, the thing is, when you go online and you try to, there's plenty of residue right now. That means it's a fresh change. It's got to be something brand new. Uh, no, as as soon as I do this video, they're probably going to pull all the residue down from the internet, they're little by little. Um, so here here's a book, um, the Mobile Revolution: The Making of Mobile Services Worldwide, and right here it says, before Warner Dyer created a career in the games business, starting with Microsoft's product portfolios, which led to business development for Info Games, Atari. Info Games is the one who created Atari, not Grames like it is now. They're trying to show you the RA connection. Electronic Arts is another one. Um, they, they say that's another ME. The E and the A are joined. EA Sports, uh, Electronic Arts. Info Games Atari. See this? Not Grames as it is now. Uh, another one. Uh, this is a book, Platforms of Innovation, Dynamics of New Industrial uh, Knowledge Flows, Info Games Atari, right here. See, and uh, there's some blogs, there's plenty of residue, guys. Uh, if you want to send me any pictures or anything, that's cool, too. I'll be sure to do a video follow-up on all that. Um, let's see, this is uh, Chicago Tribune. Please tell me they didn't get it wrong. Look, we just, we look it up... Um, Infogrames. See this? You can't find Infogrames. It says 2000 to 2002, Vice President, U.S. Marketing, Atari Info Games, Atari Entertainment, Los Angeles. Thank you, Chicago Tribune. Okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to go over um, is this. Uh, another entertainment company is Imagine Entertainment is merged now. And. We see, wait till I show you the Da Vinci Code, folks. Uh, hold on. Okay, see the M and the A are merged in Imagine. I just, Teresa pointed out the Da Vinci Code, and this is what I came up with here. The MA merged on Imagine Entertainment. I don't know, perhaps they're just changing logos left and right. Um, the, the next thing, yeah, let me show you that. Hang on, because there's something else I want to show you too about Magic the Gathering um, is another change. Magic the Gathering is a huge change, I think, uh, because the M is broken. Let me pull it up on Logopedia, and um, I got to show you the Da Vinci Code too. See, I'm trying before the internet slowed up. Uh, Da Vinci Code. Uh, let's see. Logo. All right. Please tell me, guys, that you remember the A normal on the Da Vinci Code. Go look at your old VHS uh, DV uh, DVD. Da Vinci Code is now a upside down V. Okay, they're trying to show you as above, so below. See that? Right here. Uh, that is a huge Mandela. And yeah, Magic the Gathering. This, I couldn't get it to load before, but look at the M and the A. They're both broken. Right here, the, the breaks. Let me trace this logo, okay? It's been like this since 1993, Magic the Gathering. I, I, I played this game for quite a while. I don't remember these breaks in the letters. I went to uh, GameStop, and the fellow there told me that uh, he remembered it like this, but he had a customer come to him and say that it was messed up. 
he said he rem he he remembers it, but um. So yeah, we gotta wake everybody up, folks. That's the thing. Wake up. The changes are real. They're happening. Yeah, look at this Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Show that to your friends who are non-believers. Because I'm telling you. Yeah, they're, that's they're crazy. And, and, and not to mention we see the Vitruvian Man and the Last Supper. Virtually every Da Vinci painting has, has changed. This is crazy. I, I don't remember his right foot pointing straight and his left foot to the side. That's just stupid. And he's got four uh, four arms and four legs. Some people say he had six, but I, I'm I'm kind of remembering it this way, but without the foot being straight like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, one thing leads to another with the effect. Um, see, the the book by Dan Brown on his font style still has the old A, so make a note of that. The the, the book Da Vinci Code, but the movie has changed with Tom. And guess who's in it? Tom Hanks. Uh, Tom Hanks and uh, Sally Field, or Field, whatever it is. Um, I don't know. You guys make your own connections. Do um, I'm just doing this as as a residual. Thank thank you, Teresa, for finding these. You're welcome. There is one more I wanted to do real quick. Ajax. A A Ajax was pointed out to me by um, Mendel. Mendel Pearl. Um, he, his channel is Vault Team Six, and the the A and the X are joined. They weren't like that before. I'm gonna trace this one because I didn't trace it before. Oh crap! See. All right, hold on. All right, so here, the A. Okay, there we go. I have to get to bed soon. It's real late over here. But yeah, these these Mandelas they keep popping up. The changes. Um, only thing we can. The only, I know the only thing. Yeah, I know the only thing we can do is 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 um. You know, just focus on our lives, um, and and try to wake up others, and uh, you know, be the light. That's all we can do. Be a light for everyone. Okay. And guys, thank you. Have a great Mandela Fake Night. God bless.